All right, now let's talk about perpendicular lines. The definition of perpendicular is that if two lines, two lines are perpendicular if and only if their slopes have product negative one. That is, they are negative reciprocals of each other. So for example, if the slope of a line, say, were m, call it m1, then the slope of a line perpendicular to this line with the slope of m1 would be the following, 1 over m1, but then the opposite. So sometimes we call that the opposite reciprocal. All right, let's do an example with perpendicular lines. Let's find uh, the slope intercept form of the line passing through a point, negative 3, 7, perpendicular to a given line, y equals negative 3 halves x plus 4. All right, now since we know that perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes, or in other words, their slopes have product negative 1, We'll need to identify the slope from this line, take its opposite reciprocal, and then use that slope with this point to write the slope-intercept form of the line. We look at this line, you can see that it is already in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. The slope here is negative 3 halves. So the slope of our line is negative three halves. Now the slope of the line perpendicular to this would be the opposite reciprocal. So what is the opposite reciprocal of negative three halves? Well, if we take its reciprocal, we'll get negative two thirds. Then we also mistake its opposite, so it become plus two thirds. So the slope of the line perpendicular is going to be two thirds. All right. Now we have a slope, we want it to go through this point. So again, we'll use the point-slope formula, and I'll write it down. So we have y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. And here we have the slope, and then the point x1, y1. Slope, we want 2 thirds. x1, y1 is going to be, uh, x1 will be negative 3, and y1 will be 7. Let's plug those in. y minus 7 equals slope, two-thirds, times x minus negative three, that would be x plus three. Right. Now the example here wants us to put this into slope-intercept form, so we'll put this into y equals mx plus b form. Uh, first thing to do would be to distribute the two-thirds into the x plus three. So y minus seven equals two-thirds x, plus two-thirds times three. Well, three times two is six, divided by three is two. All right, and now we need to get the i, uh, this, the y by itself, so we'll add seven. So we have y equals two-thirds x plus nine. There we have the slope-intercept form of the line that is perpendicular to our given line passing through the point negative 3, 7.